I said it a little bit ago. We gave up everything for one thing. And you know what? We can give up one thing and have everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah, life. I swear to God, nigga. I just got this tag, my real estate girl. I'm in real estate, just bought a couple traps. In 1806, the German chemist Frederick William Speck Turner isolated morphine from opium. In 1890, heroin was discovered by boiling morphine. The early 1900s, heroin was being sent through the mail for medicinal purposes and samples to get people off morphine. In 1903, heroin became so addicting it was alarming the country. 1905, all opium is banned. Heroin sales stopped with the passage of the Heroin Act in 1924, making the importation, manufacture, and possession of heroin illegal in the U.S. Oxycodone became widely available in the 1950s. Percodone followed up in the 1960s. Vicodin was introduced in 1978 in the U.S. By 1999, an estimated 4 million people, 2% of the population age 12 and older, were on prescription drugs for non-medical reasons. By 2000, these numbers doubled. By 2008, they tripled. Prescription for four opiates, hydrocodone, oxycontin, methadone, and morphine have surged by 270%. 2015, the war of opiates continued. Right now, we're headed down to North Philadelphia. We're going to talk to a couple addicts. I've been uh, using opiates since I was about 14 years old. I've been using heroin since I've been 18. How'd you start off with it? Percocet or Percocet through a doctor. Percocet through a doctor. Yeah. And you went from Percocet to. I went from Percocet to abusing them, to selling them, to the doctor cutting me off, to heroin being cheaper, and in the end result, heroin has cost me everything. I gave up everything for one thing, which is heroin. And how long have you been in these streets for? I've been living on the streets of Badlands now for a year, this time around. What type of drugs did you start with? Um, in the beginning, when I was young, I started with marijuana and alcohol. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, like hard type drugs? Uh, first, I, I was smoking crack. Okay. I've done crystal meth. Okay. Um, and later on, I started using heroin. Okay. And um, have you ever tried to stop or get clean or anything? I have actually had some clean time. Um, I've had a few kids. And it's clean from my pregnancy. Um, probably my all my kids were like great every time I relapsed. I gotcha. My youngest is three. I gotcha. And um, do you do you think you'll try again to get clean or? Absolutely. Yeah. Um. I, um Yeah. And, um, and um, a few months back, I like had this really bad feeling like I wanted to get high, yeah. and I ended up relapsing. And when I picked up, I OD'd with her with me, okay. and I ended up losing her uh, I got you. to the HF. So I've been like on a downward spiral since. This right here is crack. Davian, Davian. I hit this, and honest to God, the high lasts for like three seconds. Take another one, put it right inside, just like that. All right. Start.
I'm mixing the heroin up. And try to pull this back as quick as possible. Where are these cops going? Now what are you gonna do with me now is you're gonna walk over here. Yeah. And you got light on that? Yeah, uh barely. Barely have a light on it? Okay, well look. This is what I do. Mirrors move out, right? And down. Watch my back. I'm in it done. Below, you'll see a map of the states that have legalized Narcan. Narcan saves people's life when they overdose, and many states have legalized the use of it without medical supervision. Also, you'll see a map below of Good Samaritan where you can call 911 and not be in any trouble for having possession and saving someone's life. Hi, my name is David Sharp. I run at Cornwall's Fire Company in Ben Salem Township. I'm a lieutenant. I've been a firefighter for five years. I've been in EMS for four. Overdoses, I've seen a lot. Opiates, Oxycontin, heroin. We had to use Narcan. I'm only 22 and I've been to good over about 100 overdoses just in Ben Salem Township alone. Right, now, sir. there's also methadone is a crutch. Suboxone is a crutch. crutch. If we, if I need methadone or suboxone to stay clean, yeah. then there's something wrong with me internally. And down at the Rite Aid on American and Lehigh, we about to go try to talk to a pharmacist about opiate overdoses and how opiates fuck off people's life. denied at the pharmacy. I tried to reach out to at least another 10 pharmacies. No one would speak except one pharmacist who told us the big pharmaceutical companies have a hold in a multi-billion dollar industry led by addiction. You could believe nobody's gonna speak. 